Hi Leo, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your general you verse them love spread. Um, it is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I think I already said that. Um, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. All right. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Um, however, I am doing a giveaway, um, a free 30-minute personal reading. Uh, the drawing will be held on or around April 1st. And I say that because I have people all over the world that watch my channel and there's different time zones and such. So um, I will be picking somebody on or around April 1st. In order to enter, all you have to do is three things. Yes, all three. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your name below. That will get you entered. Um, Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I did launch those not long ago, um, but I would like to start doing live interactive readings with people. So follow me on over there after this video. And um, so Leo, your energy will be on this side. Your person's on this side. Feel free to switch roles as you see fit. It could be the whole side. It could be one or two things. Feel free to flip flop, reverse. Um, there could be one or two things that just don't resonate. That's fine. It's a general reading that messages for somebody else. So let's get into your reading, Leo. You could be single. You could be in a connection. This is for whoever you are thinking about the most. We'll get into your energy and then their energy. So let's see what's going on for Leo. All right. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So you could be married. They could be married or you could be married together. <laughs> Let's find out. We'll dig in and see what's going on for Leo. Leo. Hmm. Nothing wants to come out. Oh, there we go. All right, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Um, so this could be like you're getting married, going on a honeymoon for some of you. For others of you, um, this is saying that you need to possibly pull your energy back, um, do a little reflecting, retreat, um, clear your mind, clear your thoughts. Um, or you could be planning like a weekend getaway or something together. Uh, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and passion at the bottom of the deck. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I wonder what's going on. Um, again, uh, it feels like possibly a new connection here. Somebody might be married or this could lead to marriage. So let's get more details. Um, Leo, what is your overall energy? Not for you, all right? So you're feeling like um, possibly someone or something just isn't for you anymore. <laughs> um, so it could be you that's married. Uh, your person has exchanging gifts. Um, so they could be surprising you, Come to the edge. That's Aries energy. Leap of faith. Um, fool. The fool type energy. Um, <clears throat> this person could end up um, possibly surprising you with like a weekend getaway or some kind of a gift. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I'm breathing like that. And come to the edge. So it's like they want to take that leap of faith towards you. But you, on the other hand, might be like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this connection, this person, this whole situation. Um, <coughs> I don't know why. Anyway. All right. So uh, let's get into your energy and then get into theirs. All right. So Leo, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is what's on your mind right now. That's what's in your energy. So you're really focusing on... Um, an end goal in stability, having that family, home life, you know, possibly children, buying a home, getting married. Um, so marriage could be on your mind um, or you could be married with a family and kids and such. If I call you Aries, I'm sorry. I just did Aries reading and I feel like I keep saying it. Seven of Cups. You could be confused here, or you could be looking at your options on what it is you really want, what what is going to give you um, that ultimate fulfillment here. Um, four of Swords, there's that retreat card. 
All right, so you're pulling your energy back. You're doing some reflecting. You're mulling over your options and what it is that you need to let go and walk away from here because you're really focused on Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles. Can I get one more, please, for Leo? You could have you could have been through it. Someone could have put you through it. Like you had to keep fighting wounded warrior card. Possibly because someone could have put you in a third party situation with the lover's card and the three of cups for some of you. So now you're like, all right, I fought for this connection. I've done my best. I've done everything I possibly can. Now it's time for me to stand my ground and decide, do I walk away or do I, you know, what are my options? Do I walk towards someone else, something else? Or do I stay put? So I feel like you're in a very contemplative mode right now with the Four of Swords retreating, okay? Um, taking time out for yourself. So let's see, what's going on with your person? Sorry about my dogs, can't help it. So we have the Fool, Aries energy and Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. It did kind of land in reverse. So is your person trying, and I, I'm going to take them upright because they had that energy in their overall, okay? Um, so I feel like your person is trying to take a leap of faith towards you and come towards you like the knight in shining armor, male or female, um, and offer you romance, love, some kind of, um, some kind of connection here. I'm so sorry about the dogs. Uh, what else? Uh, Leo's person. Uh, I feel like they're holding back because they feel like they're going to get rejected or ignored. Can I get one more, please? For Leo's person. Yeah. Could be an age difference. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like, yeah, this person wants to come towards you and offer you, um, you know, a small offer, a small token of stability. Um, you know, be the knight in shining armor. Maybe take you away for the weekend. Show you some passion, love. Um, that kind of a thing. But they're having a fear that you might reject them. All right, so what is blocking you from this connection, Leo? Um, external influences, blockages, the tower, scorpionic energy. So some kind of a tower moment came in. And shook some stuff up, and that's why you're in contemplative mode. What else blockages for Leo? Blockages for Leo. King of Pentacles. There could be an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is dominant Taurus um, energy. Male or female, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. Um, there could be an earth sign blocking this connection. So whether you're connected to an earth sign or they are connected to an earth sign, um, or it could be a um, parent figure that could be standing in the way. Um, that just doesn't agree with this or somebody could be connected, committed in another, you know, married or whatever to an earth sign or someone put you in a third party with an earth sign, okay? Um, that caused the tower moment. This is general, you guys, so place it where you see fit, all right? Because there's different messages. Yeah, look at that. Uh, three of Cups, Three of Swords, and Two of Wands. 
strong, strong third party here. Very strong. Um, could be on your part. It's like, I'm feeling, Leo, that maybe you're married. I'll give you a couple scenarios. Maybe you're married and this person wants to come towards you and now you are like, what do I do? Maybe you're unhappy in your marriage. I don't know. Um, that's one message I'm getting. For others of you, it was this person is married and put you in a third party. They, it's like they couldn't, someone can't decide. I feel like it's you, Leo. But again, feel free to switch energies. I'm sorry. Oh. There's people walking by with their dogs, causing my dog to bark. These were on the floor. All right, so let's see. Um, so how does your person genuinely, or sorry, wrong part. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> There's someone walking by with their dogs. That's why my dog is going crazy. All right, so what is blocking this person from you? Uh, things are kind of not moving on to a calmer place. They want things to move on to a calmer place. They're stressed out. Um, Sagittarius energy with temperance. Um, having sleepless nights, overthinking things. Um, trying to go with the flow, but it's stressing them out. I feel like they're they're really trying to just go with the flow, be patient um, for things to move forward. It's stressing them out though. What else? What's blocking this person towards Leo? There's that queen of Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or this person. Someone needs to walk away from an air sign. All right. I mean, both of you guys could be in a different, you, you both could be in connections with somebody else. someone found out about a third party that they weren't aware of. I feel like this person is high anxiety, trying to go with the flow, trying to keep their temper calm. But at the same time, it's like, all right, I, I feel like I need to cut out some kind of bullshit. I need to get to the truth of the matter here so I know, do I stay or walk away? Do I make this offer or do I not? King of Pentacles. Is that King? You both have King of Pentacles. Earth sign, Taurus predominantly, um, Capricorn or Virgo. So how do you genuinely feel towards this person, Leo? How do you feel towards this person? Five of Wands. Uh, you could feel like there's a lot of drama going on right now. Uh, too many people involved. Drama. Passionate arguing. <sighs> Waiting. Things not growing, things not blossoming, waiting, trying to plant seeds, trying to see if things will grow. Um, 
Six of Wands. Victory and success. Or you feel like this person gets a lot of attention from other people. They could be like in the limelight, spotlight, having victory and success in their personal life, in their work life um, for some of you. Um, for others of you, it's like you do feel like you can have that victory and success with this person. It's like you're kind of like, like a plant of seed water it, see if, see if it sprouts. You know what I mean? Like just dipping one foot in to see, testing the waters I'm hearing. Yeah, so two of swords and the hanged man. So Pisces energy here. Um, you're feeling like there needs to be some kind of a change in pers pers um, perception. Someone needs to change perspective. I don't... It's how you feel towards them. So it's like, do... Is this saying you need to change how you look at this person or you're hoping this person changes how they're looking at you? I feel like that's more, you're hoping that this person changes their viewpoint on you um, and possibly open up emotionally, like have some kind of heart to heart conversation <laughs> to move to calmer waters, six of swords. Uh, let's see. How does this person genuinely feel towards you? Oof. You're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, this could be them very much obsessing over you. All right. They could be very much um, nonstop thinking about you, feeling the strong connection, strong bonds. They could feel like you, Leo, are trying to um, possibly control this situation or control the outcome, um, you know, where they feel like they're, I don't know, like they're waiting for you to like make a decision. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, again, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus Virgo, but I'm also getting here how they feel towards you is that you are a very stable, loving, caring, nurturing type person, all right? Um, or you could be connected to an earth sign that is keeping you stuck, possibly in a marriage or in a connection, a commitment of some sort. Um, and they're feeling like that's a toxic connection. Again, you guys, feel free to switch roles, okay? This could be you on this side, your person over there. So King of Wands, there you are. They're, they're feeling like you kind of betrayed them, backstabbed them, hurt them. Maybe there was like... Um, not complete truth that came out. Um, can I have one more, please? And they're feeling very stuck. Look at it. We have eight, nine, and ten of swords on your person's part. And six. <laughs> a lot of sword energy going on with your person. That's a lot of thoughts, overthinking, logical, not not so much emotions. Um, well, nine of cups. They could be um, overindulging, drinking, partying too much, a little obsessive about stuff like that. All right. Um, toxicity, a little bit of that going on possibly for some, not all. It's not strong. It's an underlying energy. So they could be, you know, Drinking, smoking, partying, whatever to hide um, emotions or hide any healing that they need to do for some. For others of you, this person is 
looking at you like you are a wish fulfillment. Um, and that's why they're feeling so stuck in their head, in their thoughts, sleepless nights, feeling kind of like backstabbed or betrayed. I mean, for all I know, you guys, you could be married to this person and you're you're trying to move on away from them for some of you towards something else. All right. Because there is a couple different ways this is coming through. But let's, what are your hopes for the outcome? Um, keep in mind, you have free will, so you could literally change the direction of your life at any time. So um, this is just kind of like a quick snapshot here. Uh, hopes for the outcome. <laughs> well, well. Uh, two of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. So this is um, a balanced union, soulmate type connection, equal emotions. Um, with the two of cups here and the nine of pentacles is being single and independent. So, um, I feel like, yeah, you might be in that you're in that contemplative mode. Do I go after this or do I just keep to myself? Do I just become single? What do I do here? Uh, let's see what else hopes for the outcome. Or you could be hoping that this person, if they're in a connection, whoever, whatever, you're hoping that someone can become single to have this union. So if you're in a connection or if they're in a connection, you're hoping that whoever it is can become single to have this union. Okay, what else? Hopes for the outcome for Leo. Three of Pentacles, so working together, collaborating, um, having the same goals, building towards something. And Eight of Pentacles, yeah, so working, putting in the effort to build something. Um, so you could potentially just end up focusing just on yourself and putting a lot of attention into work for some of you. For others of you, yeah, you want to put work and effort into this, or you're hoping that this person does. Um, collaborating, you know, teamwork, coming together with each other. Same page and whatnot. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. You're trying to manifest a solid new beginning with Two of Cups, all right? You're trying to manifest... A, a, something stable, something solid, something with equal love, you know, same focus, making money or building a family. Stability doesn't always have to be about money. It could just be, you know, no third parties, no cheating, no sketchy shit, you know, stuff like that. So, um, and having that abundance. So you're looking to build with someone or, you know, have that solid grounded connection um, that's equal. So what is your person's hopes for the outcome? Leo's person's hopes for the outcome. They're hoping for equal give and take, reciprocity. Not taking all of these. Yeah, they're hoping for, you know, and look, exchanging gifts. There's... They're holding two, like two gifts, you know, um, being equal with that give and take, the hanged one, um, Pisces energy. So getting that new perspective, getting that clarity is what they're hoping for, possibly hoping for you to get some kind of clarity, or they're hoping that them, they themselves can get that, um, clarity, all right, that different point of view, uh, they could be watching you researching you i don't that watching you online seeing what you're up to um but they also could be again getting that different perspective by um possibly gaining some knowledge doing some research on you know background stuff or whatever maybe some healing work that they have to do all right um they're hoping to end any conflicts third party arguing disputes they're hoping to end the conflict and have like truth, clarity, um, communication regarding truth and clarity. Um, yeah, look at in the reverse, seven of swords, 
end that sneaky behavior, end that deception, um, close out options, make that choice. All right, so they're really hoping to have clarity, equal give and take, reciprocity, end of any kind of bullshit, end of any other options, third party crap. They want to end all that. So whether that was, you know, you or them, yeah, they want to put down the burden, higher level of commitment. Um, you want the same thing. I just, so, I mean, you're really focusing on your, your 10 of pentacles here. And I feel like they want to take a leap of faith towards you. There's a lot of passion. The getting to know each other. That's why I'm I'm a little I'm get that's why I'm getting like different storylines here. There was definitely some third party thing going on, all right. Whether it was you or them, there was definitely. Um, but I feel like both of you are kind of like now coming into that common ground where you really want to have Someone who's going to work with you, not against you. Someone who's going to give you that equal love. Someone who's going to show you stability, um, you know, and still let you be independent and not weigh you down and control you or control every little aspect or, you know, um, have trust and faith, right? Um, this person is really looking for equal give and take. They're trying to change their perspective of this whole thing. They really want to put an end to um, having any options in love or any kind of lies, sneaking, deceit, um, lying, cheating, stealing, that kind of a thing. So they want to put that to an end. So again, free will, um, if they come towards you, it's up to you, but I feel like you guys are now kind of coming into um, some kind of an alignment here um, with each other, okay? So what would this person like to say to Leo? What would this person like to say to Leo? Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. I'm confused about what I should do regarding my feelings for you. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. Yeah. There was definitely some kind of betrayal here, some kind of third party stuff going on, um, possibly, you know, overindulging on something. But um, I hope this resonated for you, Leo. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment your name below to be entered into the 30 minute free reading giveaway. Um, please head on over to Facebook and Instagram, Beyond the Moon 1111, if you'd like to book a personal reading. Information's in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Take care.